All right, so let's check this out. I have no idea if this is gonna work or not, but it's just an idea I had that I hope will work because I need it to work. What I've done here is <clears throat> the three inch discharge on my water pump, I've swapped it over to a, I think it's like an inch and a half fire hose. I got some of these fire hoses actually recovered out of a construction project. They were gonna throw them away. Um, my hope is that I've reduced it down here to a fire nozzle, which I feel like that's gonna be a big broad spray pattern and not a jet. I really kind of want a jet, but we'll just have to see if it'll work or not. If not, I'll have to get a different nozzle. But my hope is that by reducing the ID, having the same flow rate, I can <laughs> jet this water a long distance. And I'm wanting to rig this up to see if it'll work um, when I go to burn brush piles so I can have a way to spray water. I've got the volume of water, but I need to be able to, of course, sling the water because I can't get that close to those burn piles. They're very, very hot. So let's fire it up here and uh, we'll just see what it does. Excellent. So, I don't know if you guys can see it in the peripheral right here or not, but I had a sprung a leak, a little pinhole leak right there. It's still squirting a little water out. Um, so that was jetting some water out. But so the spray pattern is what I thought it would be. It's a very scattered spray pattern. I think if I can get a nozzle that'll focus it more as a jet, I'll be able to really kick it. But as is, even with that scattered spray pattern, it's in it 30 foot. Whereas, you know, just coming out of the, the standard three inch discharge hose like this one here, I mean, I'd have to pick the end of the hose up and I might be able to throw water maybe five feet, you know? Um, but again, that's by design. These pumps are designed to be high volume, low pressure. So the way that you get projection on your discharge is to reduce the cross sectional area of it, which increases the velocity. The pressure is actually less, but it increases the velocity. Um, so it throws it a distance out of the nozzle. So the big hose, you know, I can't throw it very far. Yes, I can move a lot of volume, but I can't throw it very far. And I'm not gonna be able to, oh my goodness, Caroline, seriously. Mommy's not gonna be happy about that. Your muddy, muddy mess. Anyway, so I wouldn't be able to throw it very far. And you know, the fire doesn't burn on the ground, it's burning up high. So what, what I'm, long-term, what our goal is, what I need to be able to do is be able to spray the water at least 50 feet high because I want to be able to soak down all the trees around the burn piles before we light it because I just don't want, you know, I don't want any risk of it jumping over and lighting a tree up. So I want to be able to jet that water from a safe distance and, and hit things. Um, and then otherwise just spray it on the fire to keep the fire kind of calmed down. Of course, once the fire burns down a little bit, then it's not a concern, but it's that initial, it's that initial light up when it's just rip roaring and uh, you can't control it. So... I have a responsibility to do this, an obligation. Uh, we have only volunteer fire out here in the county. I've called the volunteer fire department. They said they're willing to send a guy to sit as a fire watch, um, but we just don't have the resources, I don't feel, you know, to, to have a whole fire truck and a whole fire crew out there. It's just not, it'd be selfish of me to do that. And the fire department told me, they said, well, all we ask is for a donation. I was like, well, to me, to be honest and fair, that donation needs to be enough to cover all of those guys time plus the equipment so if i can rig it up to do it myself you know obviously again still responsible contact the fire department let them know the day i plan to light the fire and where it's going to be so that they're not getting panic calls but anyway that's that's the whole reason why we're building this i, I can't just light up a pile and let it go 
So, you guys saw it. It worked for a good spray pattern. If nothing else, it's a heck of a way to water the lawn. I give you that much. Um, I actually need to, <laughs> I was actually just thinking I need to water my fruit trees over here. So I might grab my other fire hose and, well, this one might be long enough and just drag it over there and water the fruit trees with it real quick. Might as well, cause I'm gonna pump this hole out anyway. But I need to get a new nozzle, one that's more focused. Yep, I'm in love. I reduced the nozzle down a little bit. I'm actually able to get a little bit more distance. You know, just soak down my apple trees with a torrential rainstorm here from 50 foot away. That's pretty handy. Uh, I still like to get a, a, a little focused nozzle because when I reduce this nozzle down to get a better jet, I lose flow rate. Um, it starts to kind of get weak on me, which that maybe because there's a hole in the hose. But anyway, I thought I'd show you guys this. This is fun because I don't have any water source out here for the garden. And I didn't really, or for the orchard that I'm starting in, I didn't really want to drag, you know, a garden hose all the way out here. I already had this rigged up. But this is actually working really good because it's putting down a lot of water fast. So I'm just going to soak these wood chips and let them drink it all up and then hold that moisture below. And I'm putting a little more focus, obviously, on the trees themselves, make sure they get watered. They haven't been, I mean, they haven't been watered by me intentionally since I planted them. So the rest has just been rain and we haven't had a decent rain in two to three weeks. So we'll get these uh, fruit trees watered up here, get these wood chips soaked down, and then I'll swap my, probably swap the water pump back over to the three inch hose just to go ahead and get that hole pumped out. But just playing around here with the fire hose and the fire nozzle. I think I'm in love.